Hey guys, welcome back to some more Rory McIlroy PGA Tour and part 8 of our career mode. Today we finish off the Arnold Palmer International. It was a cracking episode last time. We've got uh, a, 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 a three-way tie for the lead and uh, two people in just in second, one shot behind us. So it's absolutely crazy uh, how close it is and, and it's going to be a close one today. We're going to have to be at our best and hopefully we will be. It will be a full round today, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And without further ado, let's get into it. Final round coverage. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, site of one of the PGA Tour's premier stops, the Arnold Palmer Invitational, always attracting a great field. And through the years, it has been the scene of just some championship play from one guy in particular. Tiger Woods has won there an incredible eight times. Well, look at that, a four-way tie at the moment. Kutchez got off to a great start. start of a, round at a great golf course like Bay Hill. 461-yard opening par four. What does it take here? Nice little draw off the tee. Uh, if you're a little fearful, the out-of-bounds... It's not a good start. Often comes that one is just a little offline, and that will not end up in the fairway. Yeah, about 145 yards left here. Oh, that's right. And well off the green. Well, goodness me. The fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Oh, we need to be doing better than this. So let's flop this in nice and close. Hopefully. That's pretty good. Pretty good shot right there. Not a gimme, but well within his range. It's there. Good par to start off the round good effort and look at that well wow. four way tie for the lead it is going to be so so close back to the action here at the second and a par three frank it's 231 yards what are we looking at well somehow if you can hit it sky high that's the best shot to hit in here this green sometimes gets brick hard and of course it all slopes to the left it should be pretty good right there on the safe side well look at that Beautiful nice play right there. That's in pretty close. And getting ready for the putt. Oh my goodness me! Good try. What has happened there? Read the break, it happened in the last Shouldn't episode. We just really Clearly. didn't hit that well. Blame the delirious cold. Oh, look at that. Still all level. Now to the par four third, 434 yards, and plenty of trouble on that left side. One of the hardest tee shots on the front side. Water very much in play down the left. Oh, that needs to sit. Oh, that's too heavy. Oh, well. So the golf ball ends up in that first cut. It's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see. It's okay. We'll go on a bit. He's not, not enough, though. Game, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Just a lag put there. Looks like he just misread that. And certainly not the the best start to the round. You would have to say. Name comes and well, we finally lose the lead. Yep. Cut check. Not much. Let's took it. All the good stuff's being played elsewhere. It's not bad. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway, and well over 320 yards. this bounces on this could be fantastic oh and it didn't quite it just hit the divot a little bit unfortunate there 
Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That needs to sit, and it does. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Are you go. Now for birdie. Gotta be a birdie this time. And it is. We finally get under par for the round. Oh, while we move really back to core leading. So tight at the top. Right in the middle of a Donnybrook at this point. Well, the wind's coming back on us this time, so we've got to be really careful. Uh, Tom Weisskopf was one of my... Oh, that's pretty good. I love the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my eye. It looks like Rory McIlroy finds stick in the follow through. Frank, what about this approach shot here at the fifth? One of the few holes where you get a short iron in your hand for that second shot, but that green slopes away at about a 45 degree angle to the right, which makes distance control paramount here at five. He's hit the green, but his work is by no means finished. A difficult putt coming up from about 25 feet. Oh, it's there. What a shot. And how important could that be? In the Whoa, well, everybody stays with us. Goodness me, this is tight. Downtown, yes. What on earth is he on about? <laughs> right, got to get this absolutely spot on. At the signature hole, the long par five, sixth hole. Well, the longer hitters can go at that big pine tree. Then it's reachable in two. And if you're a little shorter, then you've got to start to sort of aim at the middle of those two bunkers. That's pretty good. It's fine. Frank, that swing looks lively and strong. Oh, oh yeah. that had to fly 300. Um, it's close to 310. Now, tough again. Got to get this spot on. Hazard. Maybe oh, wet. dear. Oh, we're okay. Wow. Just Look about. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Oh, oh my goodness me, I thought we'd got the eagle there. Should be the birdie, though. Just to get on a real roll. That's two in a row. Three in a row, I think, and we take the outright lead. But look at that. Well, you're breathing a sigh of relief. Your round wasn't sunk at the par 5 6 and now you come to this par 3 it's just a little under 200 yards yeah aiming at the middle of the green is not a bad thing here rich you can always putt to the corners and have a birdie chance you take pretty good walk off this hole to the eighth well, you could get a little greedy you know, the tee shot in the middle of this green is not too bad you'll still have a birdie putt Oh, oh, oh. Close it goes. Oh, wow. extra shot. That one will definitely hurt. Just a couple of feet. Good work right there. They'll settle for par. Well, this is crazy. This is crazy how close this is. Frank, this hole has it all. Dog leg, bunkers, water. How do you successfully navigate it? Well, it's such a pretty looking hole, Rich. That bunker down the left just sort of pops out and you see it. So you can either work it off that to the right, either that or just aim a little right, but be careful of those trees on the right. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing oh, no! Play the wind! The the oh, well. There, Frank. He's trying to stay dry now. He is. Uh, just trying to avoid water on the brain as well. <laughs> this will take a good swing. So this is back on the, on the fairway. Found the water. Yeah, it's not all over, but uh, right now, too, he's staring uh, down the barrel of a, a very bad hole. Headed to the right, just a tad. Well, that is take boogie and move on, right there, hopefully. Approach, giving him another good look. This one just tough. requires a little bit of focus. It's there. Very important there that we got the bogey. Drops into a tie for the lead. Three, three there. 
cool lead. Final hole now of the front side. It's a 474-yard par four, and Frank, you've played it before. What works best here? Well, ideally, a nice little draw off the tee. The hole's quite weird because the, the tee shot shapes to the left, and yet the green goes the other way. In the fairway, shouldn't be more than 200 yards to the flagstick. Well, it's not too bad, but very tough chance of Burley. Not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Well, it's close. Oh, just a bit pacey. Oh, long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. He has this attempt for par. Well, there you go. Well, there's a deer. The rest of the field, a par oh, dear. Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without... Ooh, the slow up. That's just about he okay. That one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Yeah. Oh, this could be good. Good shot. It's pretty again. decent. This is like cyber vision. Shot after shot. Right at the flag. Just dialed in. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Oh no. No. Well there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, so there you go. About perfect. But it's gonna hard fought par right there. Still co-leaded. Just a shade under 440 yards. Where are the difficulties here, Frank? The water down the left, but the hole keeps going that way, almost in a, a semi-horseshoe fashion. Two bunkers down the right, they always catch the stray tee shot, but um, once again, you, you don't have to hit driver here. You've got to get that ball in play. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's no pretty problem. good. Very good. Well, birdie chance here. Great look at birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. And then, oh, how close was that? Well, a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bold. Very bold. How did the others do? Well, Harmon has gone to 15 under, but look at that 13 under for Kutcher. Oh, hey. Ishikawa as well. Goodness me. Five scoring opportunity here. The breeze behind, once again, a reachable par five. Uh, the hardest thing about this hole really is the green. It's raised up a little bit, slopes off on either side. Frank, this is well, a big chance here to get an eagle. That deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Oh, looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way... Oh, no. Oh, I thought we'd done it. So hot. Oh. Ian, the greenside bunker here, Frank. Nice to go to the beach, but not too often, we hope. So, can we get this in nice and close? That's pretty decent. Guaranteed birdie, you would have to say it. And there we go. So 15 under now. Yet another birdie. And we tie for the lead with Harmon. At the par 4 13th now. This is a hole, Frank, that requires some smart club selection. What are the options here? Yeah, very sneaky par 4. That bunker on the right is 250 yards or so off the tee. So you've either got a choice to play short of that or sneak it down the end, which is about 300 yards. But if you try and be bold here and miss the fairway, that second shot, evil. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is risky. Very risky. Trying to... Uh, it's gone a little bit far, unfortunately. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. 
Well, that's a decent lag pot. I'd be very happy with that one. Yeah, lag part, I mean, really, it's unrealistic to try and make those, so any time you can uh, two-putt from there is a good result. That's a par, but... Well, Harmon makes a birdie. All the other movement on the golf course, Rich. Pars aren't good enough right now. Other people are making birdie. Oh, this isn't on the green. That's disappointing. Once again, to get it close here. Frank, golf may be the best sport to follow from this standpoint. You can get closer to the great athlete in golf than you can in any other sport. You, you could stand five feet from Tiger Woods at a tee box as he's getting ready to drive. I mean, that's really unusual in sports. Yeah, it's a different type of spectator sport, especially if you, if you follow your favorite player all the way around the golf course. Because it's not like waiting for your favorite hitter in a, in a baseball game. You know, you've got to wait several innings. You can literally see him hit every single shot, drive through to putt. That's pretty good. Gives us a chance here. Still a shot behind. Frank, so what are you looking into the final four holes? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's when you've got to be a little careful. Hody try up next. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. No. Pretty Again, very unlucky, you would have to say. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh, well. Oh, man. No, that could cost us. Oh, that hurts. Settles in over the putt. And that's a bogey. Two shots down now. I'm gonna have to pull out our best form in these last three holes. We've seen guys or hope. The years below the that one of the others hole. crumble. Yeah, if you get a little too greedy here, you try and make eagle. Uh, <laughs> it's sometimes with a good tee shot, it's an easy. Oh dearie me! That is not good. A bit unfortunate well, in the bunker, Frank. Well, it'll be interesting to see what his bunker plays like. Frank, just a slight miss off the tees in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. Come on, come shot. on. That's okay. That's okay. I think, oh my goodness, if that had went down the hill into the water, I would have been gutted. Well, but we're okay. We see exactly how good they are because you know that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. That's all right. Well, that is all right. From the run, Birdie chance here. Their strength to get it out and get it close. It's there. What a shot we've pulled out there. That was a nice bogey. Oh, and oh, Harmon has bogeyed. Wow. This on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. Oh, that's bunker. Oh, is it going to bounce soon? Yet again, he has hit it off the tee and into the bunker. Great knees, great hands in this shot. Yeah, touch. You, you, you have to have that feel. You have something between the ball and the club face, so it's a different feel, but you also have to have imagination. <gasps> Singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. Well, what's he done on the par five? He's got the birdie. You'd like to think it's just a slip on the controller. You know, Tiger was born on the same day as LeBron James, December 30th. And, and he's had his share of slam dunks, especially on the 18th hole here at Bay Hill. Yeah, he's just a perfect fit for the golf course. Um, you'd think every now and again he fears left, but he doesn't fear left at Bay Hill. Uh, we've seen his best golf over the years, over the last 15 or so years. To win there eight times, nobody's come close to that. Ernie Els, one of the great players in the world, has won it twice. This looks like it's going to find the target. Well, this Wait needs to go in. It's as simple as that. With a birdie opportunity. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. 
no, just a bit wide. So, unless Harbin has an absolute collapse, tester from four feet. We're gonna finish second again. But what a battle it was, and we played some good golf. But just a couple of holes here and there. It's come down to. Final round coverage for all of us at EA Sports. I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time. And there you have it. Harbin actually made birdie on the final hole. 17 under he finished on. We were 14 under. Three shots off in the end, which is a big shame. Uh, and we do not pick up the tournament victory. But uh, still a very good performance to, f to finish a second. I'm very happy with that. And we extend our lead at the top of the FedEx Cup standards. We've got the Alberta Classic coming up in the next episode. But if you have enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular golf content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Thank you.